Hello, I'm Nigel Yule, Senior Director of Product Marketing for Enterprise Performance Management at Oracle. I'm here at Collaborate. I'm here with Alex Ladd from Mindstream Analytics. Mindstream are a gold EPM partner. Yep, yes, we are. Great to be great to be able to speak to you. So you've been talking. You've been talking about the fact you've been doing some some uh, work with customers on planning and budgeting cloud service, PBCS. Mm -hmm. So give us a view. You know, wait, what are you seeing? What type of customers? What's happening with them? Well, we're seeing a lot of different types of customers. As you know, we're seeing a lot of net new customers who are new to the market, right. new to planning. Uh, maybe the clouds made it more affordable for them, or something like that. And then now they're getting into the game. So we see that. And then we see some of the bigger customers that we see moving to PPCS are existing customers that are maybe they have upgrade fatigue, or they have. Uh, you know, they're sick of trying to find a hosting vendor and they don't want to host it in-house and they're sick of arguing with their own IT people or something like that. So, right. and then they want to go to the cloud just for ease of use. Okay, so so yeah, that's pretty pretty interesting. Let's, let's talk first about upgrade fatigue because yeah. that, that's a really key thing, isn't it? I mean, I know mm -hmm. you, you and I have been around the business a while yeah, exactly. and, and and we know that you know, customers tend to, to avoid upgrading mm -hmm. until it gets to the really painful bit. Yes, that's right. And actually, we had a customer just now who's moving to the cloud. They just started their implementation. Uh, they're, well, they're my migration really to the right. cloud and they actually that was one of their primary reasons I'm sick of having to write out a, a project a, you know a capital project expenditure every two to three years to upgrade and yeah. they just don't want to do it anymore and of course with the cloud product you get yeah. new releases every month right yeah it's all built in so they just don't have to worry about anything it's very easy for them and, and of course by, by the virtue of the facts every month it's small increments so you don't get these huge right. big leaps to you yeah it's just c continuous increments mm -hmm. um, which makes it easier mm -hmm. but also there's the big advantage of, of um, the fact that that you get that new stuff all yeah. the time. No, that's a big that's a big thing because you know you go around like, and I'm sure you know you go around to existing customers, three four versions behind. And you, well, you could use this. You really need this. But oh no, we're not upgrading for another year. Like, well, call me in a year and we can fix your problem. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> you know, so okay. So 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 customers. So so those customers are seeing seeing it because probably primarily because of upgrades or mm -hmm. you know, they don't want to spend capital project money. They yeah. want to offload the IT resource new customers so these new guys that are turning up and saying yeah, I'm going to do this what's the motivation I guess is they can have you know, an enterprise planning product in the cloud yeah that's right and I think that the other other pieces of motivation are you know one is it's less expensive they don't have as much infrastructure to worry about the other thing right. is they don't have as much knowledge transfer to worry about or mean you know you hear about especially with something like Hyperion you heard about it a long time it's kind of a niche product within the IT segment right. so they don't want their internal IT to have to to manage it and that's always been a big point for them so now they, they don't have to worry about that they don't have to procure servers they don't have to worry about any of that kind of thing and then they can do that also you know, with some of our offerings, you get a templatized view. It's easy to implement, so they can get up and running faster. You're not looking at, not only you're not looking at capital expenditure for software and servers and the rest of it, but your implementation is much easier. So, so really, trying to drive implementation to be a simpler process mm -hmm. is 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 key to this, right? Yes, it is. And um, we have an offering around that. It's a templatized approach. It's almost an automated system. We like to take out a little bit of automation just to check it over with a human being. But, um, but you know, people can get in. Just give us your dimensions, your forms. It'll automatically upload them we'll just edit the XML in the background and it loads up to the cloud and it's ready to go and of course along with upgrades and so on and all that ease of day-to-day -day carrying on with the product there's also an element of help needed so I mean again you guys supplying that sort of help as well yeah and actually that comes with our package our package offering so the the, the templatized implementation is the first piece and then we add in a managed services contract because when you think about the implementations of the past you, you had client involvement in that so there's right. knowledge transfer during that now if you're gonna have an automated kind of template approach and you're not really going to have a lot of opportunity for knowledge transfer right so we want to make sure the customer is successful so we roll in a little bit of a managed services type offering where it's application support and application upkeep for them if they need to make changes if their organization changes you know a lot of people are still kind of new to the hierarchical thinking of, of a planning or an a right. opinion system yeah. so that's still something they kind of have to get their heads around and we can help them do that and they might not do that until six nine months a year into it you know so in that case we'll be there to help them still Alex thank you very much for sharing that was an and every success as you go forward with PBCS. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us.